Welcome back one and all to the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Last time, we tracked down a candelabrum and climbed up the Sapphirel Tower. I got some cool stuff out of it, but I also got my butt handed to me. This time, we're, uh... Apparently, I gotta run off an asshole. I don't hear anything. Damn it, what's going on? If the Royal Army really is... If the Royal Army really just going to roll over for some bigwig? What are they doing? By the looks of them, I'd say they're no... They're just ordinary travelers. However... I have to wonder why there isn't a single guard. Now that you mention it, maybe something big is going on? That I don't know. Bartholomew. So has his grace changed his mind? Of course, it's of course. He is not the sort to do so once he has decided on something. In light of that, I believe he'll be staying here. I see. Then we'll have to wait for the bracers to arrive before we can do anything more. I think I know that guy. It's you. You're bracers, aren't you? Thank ADS you're here. My name's Chief Warrant Out Officer Han. It's nice to meet you. I'm Estelle, bracer in training. And I'm Joshua, also in training. The bulletin board said that a traveler was causing trouble. Afraid so. We have an unsavory character, and dealing with him is proving most difficult. Do you think you might be able to help out? Yes. I'll fill you in on the details. There's been a little progress to speak of. It's with the guys over there. They're victims of his current little issue. The traveler question is currently in the dining hall. In the dining hall. We're hoping that food will persuade him for the sake of the others. What? Who is them? Who is he? To be honest. Hey! You're in charge here, right? You've got to do something. Are you just going to let this kind of bullying go unchallenged? The Royal Army is supposed to be on the side of the citizens. If so, then do something about this. Hold on, all of you. Calm down. I'm sick of being calm! I understand. Just please take a step back. Joshua, are you okay? I'm... I'm fine. For now, I want you two to check out the dining hall. Okay. Let's go. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck dealing with this, Joshua. Yep, there he is. But, sir, if you reserve all the rooms and the dining hall, what will I tell the other guests? Why can't you see where we're coming from? Your Grace, I must agree with him. Perhaps we should return to Round, as originally planned. Quiet, Philip. I like it here. Particularly since it has such a lovely view of Air Lettons Waterfall. Ugh. Sir. Oh, God damn it! it had to be you, didn't it? You're that self-centered dupe guy from before. Hmm? Well, if it isn't the Bracers, you're late. We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Don't tell me. That's your troublesome traveler. You see anyone else in here? <sighs> it's no wonder you recognize the guy talking to the warrant officer. Duke over there says he intends to stay here. He insists he has to rent all the rooms as well as the dining hall. He really is as selfish as gets, isn't he? Oh dear, he is a troublesome fellow. Rollins here or not, what does he expect us to do? Make everyone else go camping? 
That's where you come in, hopefully. Can you... Can you hopefully do... Can you do something? Ideally convince him to go back to round. Or give him a little nudge over the falls. <laughs> you want me to do it? Is it tactical negotiation part of your job? We're just soldiers, you know? We train with guns and swords, and negotiating with a sword can be somewhat messy. <laughs> and what makes you think I'm any different? I'm good at hitting stuff, not talking. They usually teach that stuff to someone who has a knack for it. Joshua's the guy with the silver tongue, not me. <laughs> Estelle, we can't stand by while this is going on. Please. Even if you can't convince him with words, there's always your staff. Okay, okay. <laughs> I love how, I absolutely love how this officer is just like, <laughs> violence is not the answer, it is the question. The answer is yes, beat this guy over the head with a stick. Like, listen here, Duke. You're not, you have no authority until you ascend the throne. And you can't exile or execute me if you don't remember who I am. I will beat you over the head till you're soft in the head. I do have Chloe with me, who is... Her name is Claudia. She is the princess. She is the granddaughter of the qu of Queen Alicia. And is the heir to the throne. Although this guy probably doesn't know that. Oh, I remember you. Hey, uh, fancy seeing you here. Where you go, trouble follows, eh? Hmm? Who are you talking to, Philip? Okay, gotta start this off right. Greetings, Your Grace. I'm here to collect you. Collect me? I don't recall ordering someone to do so. Where did you travel from? The Mayor's Estate. He asked me to come here. Ah, I see. That is quite admirable of him. But I have no desire to return to Round on this evening. I already decided to stay here at Air Letton. Okay, double or nothing. Gotta change his mind but make him feel like he's it's his idea. Well, there's a dinner party at the mayor's house. Estate tonight. The guests are surely waiting anxiously for the king to be to make his appearance. In that case, they will continue to wait indefinitely. I'm tired of dinner parties. I have no intention of going. You are making this very difficult. If I stay here, I get a lovely view of the waterfall. And then it's far more entertaining. It's far more interesting. Okay, to be fair, I do agree with him on that. Um, but, but if you wish to stay here in such a crude lodging, that is most certainly your right. But a man of your noble bearing, Hushbird, a man of your noble bearing surely deserves only the finest food. You do make a fair point. Then, only if for the sake of proper accommodation. Philip? Yes, sir? You are going to arrange lodging as soon as possible. Notify the hotel and round to deliver the bed as far as the checkpoint. And have them ready their best chef for the, with the best ingredients available. God damn it. Huh? And then have the soldiers set the, cl the clearing the dining... Set about clearing the dining hall. Your grace, perhaps that is going a little far. Silence, Philip! As the next king, I will have the proper lodging. As is my right, might I add. Oh, cut the crap already! I beg your pardon. I have been all nice and courteous, and you still, Hushbert, and you still act like a spoiled brat. If you didn't have Philip around, you'd probably just starve. Estelle? You insolent whelp! You, soldiers, what do you think you're doing? Hurry up and arrest her! The only one who needs arresting here is you, you big jackass! <laughs> Estelle, don't. <laughs> that much is obviously true. I love how they're holding her back. Look at what's going on in the corner there. Like, no, for the love of God, no. Please, don't. Please. 
<laughs> Just don't! I guess it really doesn't matter. Come, Philip, let us return to round. Yes, sir, as you wish, sir. <laughs> She's still going for him! <laughs> thank you so much. And thank you. I was simply glad that the Duke was not hurt in any way. That would be thanks to this young lady here. Her reflexes are remarkable. I'm not certain I would have been able to hold back like that. Philip, what are you doing? If you'll please pardon me. <sighs> Finally. He's really, he's finally gone. <laughs> this girl is someone I want mad at this is this girl is not someone I want mad at me. She had that rod of hers aimed full tilt right at his noggin. I so thought she was gonna do it. If only you if only I if you could have only seen it. After all that, it took just one girl to settle it. I see. I have some concerns about resorting to such bombastic methods, but I suppose no harm was done. It was like you subdued a criminal. Close enough. I'm really ashamed of myself. Or sorry. Oh no, none of that. This would have... None of this would have happened here. None of this would have happened were it not for the Duke's self selfishness. You did only what you felt was necessary. Although, I do hope you'll try to be a little more diplomatic in the future. I'll try my best. Thanks for stopping me, Chloe. It's no trouble at all. I don't approve of violence, but the Duke's behavior was utterly reprehensible. Perhaps there were other means available, but you did help the other guests. We are truly grateful. A nudge. Perhaps you can help him point him in the right direction. Perhaps a nudge over the falls. I love how the other warrant officers were flat out willing to tolerate murder. Flat out tolerate the regicide of the Duke. That's kind of funny. That was genuinely funny. Not gonna lie. I, I got a kick out of that. Gladia Tunnel. I'm guessing I'll be coming, going through here. I assume I'll be going through the Gladia Tunnel later. Honestly, this is really pretty. Okay, let's head back to the Bracer Guild and report in. Oh God, you burned! Not now. Done. So are we gonna cook that thing or what? Birds are nature's ultimate asshole. I know. I have two of them. And they're little assholes. Yes, I'm talking about you, Elvis. You little jackass. Increases defense, decreases strength. That would be better on Joshua. Let's 
Let's go over to the orb orbit factory, see if there's anything I can do. I guess I can go to the Academy, to the Royal Academy. I'm glad I did because that was really, really funny. I was just helping for treasure. So this is the Royal Academy. I like it here. It feels nice and relaxing. Perfect type, the perfect type of environment for studying. Well, everyone's in class at the moment. It'll get pretty noisy if you just wait around a little while. We're having the campus festival soon. So I guess people are preparing for it. Correct. I want to introduce you to the head of the student council, but she's in class right now. So I'll take you to the dean's office first. Why there? To meet Dean Collins. He's in charge of the academy. His office is on the first floor of the main building to the right. First floor of the main building to the right. That's the faculty lounge, and that's the Dean's office. I'm back, Dean Collins. Hello, Chloe. And who might you two be? It's nice to meet you, Dean. We're from the Bracer Guild. Ah, but you're so young. Very impressive indeed. I look like Dumbledore. Are you, by any chance, here because of the fire at the orphanage? Yes, actually. I see. That's terrible. Hush, bird. Hush. Can you hush for me? I am in the middle of a conversation with these two young bracers. Yes, be su yes, Fred. Be sweet to your girlfriend. <laughs> I wish I could do something to help. Well, first there's the matter of cheering up the children. Perhaps we could. Perhaps I could start there. Yes, sir. In that case, I will work on the play with Estelle and Joshua. I think that's a good idea. Estelle and Joshua. I wish the both of you the best. Do what you can. Yes, sir. To the best of our meager ability. Hush, birds. I'm letting the head of the student council handle the matter of the play. Her name is Jill. She can tell you far more about it than I ever could. So we're giving Estelle and Joshua one of the spare dorm rooms. Student cast room is on the second floor. Okay. Of 
the clubhouse. Okay, I'm in the wrong room. I'm in the wrong building. Okay, it's back Joshua comes in here. It would have been a nice detail if Joshua waited outside, but, you know, whatever. Okay, Estelle is still the one... That stays in the lead. I guess she is the protagonist. And that's the boys' locker room, and... Of course, they follow in. Archives, okay. <sighs> so busy. The budgets for all of the concession stands have been checked over. No problems with sending out the invitations. Now all that's left is the play. If we can't find anyone to fill the last two rows, the only option might be for us to fill them ourselves. Oh, there's no way you're acting in the play. The horrors I witnessed when I first tried when we first tried the costumes on are going to haunt me for the rest of my life. Don't remind me, I never want to wear anything like that ever again. I'm back, Jill. Hello, Hans. Chloe, I heard about the fire. It must have been awful. Were the matron and the children all right? Yes, they're fine for now. Hush, birds, hush. Shh. I am talking. Shush. The orphanage was burnt to the ground, though. I see. Well, try to keep your spirits up. Fretting won't do anyone any good. The best thing we can do is make the play something the kids can enjoy. Yes, Matron Teresa gave us the same advice. So we'll give it our best. With your help, I'm sure everything will turn out fine. The thing I was stressing about it just a few minutes ago. Who are your friends? It's nice to meet you. My name is Estelle. And I'm Joshua. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. You must be the one Chloe spoke of before. I told you I'd bring them here. They're helping. That's a relief. I'm glad to meet the both of you. I'm Jill Ridenor, the head of the student council. I'll be directing the play. And I'm the vice president, Hans. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Likewise, it's good to meet you. Hmm, you know... What? With bracers here, maybe we could incorporate stunts. Are you any good with a sword, Estelle? Well... My father mainly trained me with a staff, but I'm not hopeless, at least. Okay, that settles it. You'll have a big sword fight with Chloe. Whoa, 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 a sword fight? She means in the play. There's a duel between the two knights at the climax of the play. It's a really powerful scene, perfect for the final act. We don't have any girls who can use a sword well enough to ch compete with Chloe, much less make it look good. You could always give Estelle a short spear. Since movements would be similar movements and positions would be similar with a spear as to a staff. She beat every guy in the fencing tournament and took the top spot. Wow. She actually beat out Hans in the final match. Thanks for reminding me, Jill. Hush, birds. Hush. Be quiet. Shush. You have seed, you have water. Stop being assholes to each other. It's not that I'm no good, it's just that Chloe is way better. I'm still only an amateur. I don't think I'd... I don't think I'd be any match for a professional like Estelle. And again, with the modesty. But hey, if you need my help, I'm your girl. We can do it, Chloe. I'm sure we can, thank you. You know, a duel between two female knights ought to be pretty unique. Female knights? They're both going to be playing two male knights. Huh? That leaves us without a role for Joshua. Oh my, whatever shall we do? He deserves to play a crucial role in this. A crucial role. 
I think we may have just the part for him. What kind of play is this exactly? It's called Madrigal of the White Magnolia. A famous story set in a time where there were nobles and commoners. A princess is courted by both a knight of royal blood and a commoner. In spite of their different social classes, the three have been friends since childhood. As you can imagine, this leads to complications between the nobles and commoners. And there's a great happy ending to the whole thing. That sounds like fun. So then... Why are the girls playing the guy roles? It's something to make the production more interesting. Having guys and girls switch roles, that is. Really? Wow, are the teachers okay with this? End sexual discrimination. Be free, gen be free of gender roles. Put it in that... Put in the light... Put it in light the teachers loved. Personally, I thought people would get a kick out of it. Jill, you're incorrigible. Yep, though she says she prefers the title Evil Genius. I'm totally up for this. Hold on a second. From what you're telling me, then, the crucial role you need me to play is... You'd be doing us a massive favor. Thank you for introducing us to such nice people, Chloe. I'm sorry, Joshua. He has to play the princess. That's... F pretty funny. These are our costumes? I figured that if we're playing knights, I'd be armored up. Well, armor and a helmet won't work so well if people want to see you act. That's why I decided to arrange things where you'd be where you'd be dressed more like a royal guardsman. I got it. It's perfect for Chloe. She's petite. Thank you so much. I think it suits you also. Really? Why are we dressed in different colors? Because I'm playing the Azure Knight, Oscar. You're playing the Ruby Knight, Julius. Makes the play more colorful. What about Joshua? I object... The object of your affection is... The fair Princess Cecilia. Come on out, Princess. This way. I'm not in the moment yet. Wow. <laughs> he looks very annoyed. If you're going to say something, then say it. How should I put it? I think it looks perfect. I'm shocked. You look beautiful. Such poise. Well, if I didn't know any better, I didn't know that's really... If I didn't know what's really go un going on under there, I'd be smitten at the very sight of you. Well, thank you for being so honest about it. At least I'm not... Well, thank you for being so honest about it. At least I'm not so... At least I'm not so thrilled, but... <laughs> this is just as I'd hoped. I think everyone will be pretty, pretty pleased with the casting. Come on, everyone. Let's make this a play to remember. Uh. <laughs> this is for com This is for the sake of comedy. Want to be an honorary best friend of mine. After all, we're going to be working together. You don't mind, do you? Of course not. Not su see, not super seating me, I hope. We're best friend trio, right? Okay, this is kind of cute. You are so innocent. Like a little lamb. That's just mean. Just for that, I'm not baking you any sweets. Well, well, pardon me. I apologize for offending you. Mazamel Chloe. Nope, try again. What's wrong with Estelle? What's with all the staring? It's no big deal, it's just I got a little green monster on my shoulder. What do you mean? I have some friends back in Roland's, but the most we ever did was have sleepovers. I think it must be nice to have someone close living under the same roof. What do you think, Chloe? I'm not sure. I don't really understand what would make you jealous. I concur. I must want to ask where you get off saying something like that. What do you want? Oh, come on. You've got a traveling companion, don't you? A nice looking one to... Pr and a pretty nice looking one to boot. 
who you've also, I don't know, lived under the same roof with. Uh, you're talking about Joshua? That's kind of a silly question. You've got a hot guy with you all of the time, and you're jealous of us living in an all-girl household? I'm playing a tiny violin for you, like minuscule in size. Shows what you know. Joshua's like a brother to me. Us living together is more like a family thing. Oh, a family thing, she says. I wonder if Joshua feels the same way. But <laughs> I love the glare in the glasses. I bet that's not what a guy his age would think. It's got to be tough for him to always be around a pretty girl like you. Enough, Jill. I'm sorry, Estelle. Jill has a bad habit of picking on people. <laughs> if you're going to start talking about bad habits, is there something you'd like to say? Nope, I'm good. <laughs> come on, don't mess with me like that. And really, Joshua? I mean, come on. No way. Someone's in denial. Jill. Oops, I just remembered. I have to give my daily report to the teacher before bed. Well, good night, ladies. Sleep well. I swear, that woman. All right, Estelle. If you'd like, I can lend you some of my pajamas. Estelle? What? Oh, right, pajamas. Sure, that sounds great. Oh, they actually attended classes as students. That's interesting. day wore on, lunch was enjoyed by all of, by all over pleasant, wait, lunch was enjoyed by all over pleasant, silly conversation, mostly revolving around how Joshua would look, might look in heels. What? Lunch was enjoyed by all over pleasant, silly conversation. That's a, that's really weird phrasing. Lunch was enjoyed by all over pleasant, silly conversation. Shouldn't that be lunch was enjoyed while they had pleasant, silly conversations? Whatever. My friend, I fear that this was inevitable. Perhaps fate always intended for us to meet in so base a fashion. <laughs> Speak, that we may both be unburdened, if nothing else, for our beloved princess. We could cleave a path through the fate with our own hands, but this moment my words shall her my words and her smiles seem lost. Has fear clutched your heart, Oscar? But what is this passion that pierces me so quick? Though I have no wish to fight you again, it would seem that I am left with little choice. Before this storm, by the name of revolution, should claim us both. Take up your sword, and we shall let fate decide. Yes, and may the goddess above see our spirits as they truly are. Come then, let us be done.
I've got nothing on you. I don't think you've flubbed a single line. Well, I've been familiar with the script for a long time. I think I may have learned it about the same rate you're going. I really appreciate you taking the trouble to rehearse. It's no big deal. You've kind of been my guide through it all. I think you would make a really great bracer, personally. You flatter me. We finally do this for real tomorrow night. I hope Matron Teresa and the children enjoy it. They really mean a lot to you. They're like your family. I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? No, you're exactly right. They're the ones who taught me the real value of family. Both of my, both of my parents died shortly after I was born. I was left in the care of an affluent relative I never wanted for anything. But I really had no idea what having a family was like. It was ten years ago that I met the matron. Ten years. During the war. Yes, that was when I came to round. Everyone I knew had scattered trying to escape Imperial forces. Birds, I am talking. You are killing the moment. Shush. Matron Teresa and her husband Joseph took me in and cared for me. Wow. After the war ended, we waited for several months for word to come from my relatives. She and Joseph were so kind to me. That was when I first understood what it was like to have a mother and father. And how it must have and what it must be to have a family to be with. I'm sorry. I've been rambling. You must be bored to tears. Not at all. Let's show everyone tomorrow how it's done. But I think Joshua has been the biggest help. I never expected him to be such a good actor. Yeah. He acted all uninterested, but he plays the role of the spoiled princess well. He definitely nailed the mannerisms I've seen professionals turn in worse performances. Does he have any experience in theater? I don't know much about his life before I met him. <coughs> Whatever went back on then, when I, what, ugh. Whatever went on back then, he's never talked about it much. Oh. I'm sorry, I don't mean to cry. Don't sweat it. He's always the type to be good at whatever he does. He's calm and collected. Sometimes he gets flustered, though, and that's when he's really cute. <laughs> Perhaps our roles should have been reversed. Julius and Oscar. Somehow, I think you should have. I think you would have preferred to play Oscar. How come? Well, I mean, Julius is the son of a noble, and I'm sure I don't. And I sure don't know anything about that. That's not what I mean. It's more about, um, you know, the ending. Oh, you mean how Oscar gets right? Well, it's just Joshua. Hey, do you mean you wouldn't like kissing Joshua? Just don't be ridiculous. Still, it does seem rather risque. Come on, you're starting to sound like Jill. And besides, Joshua just sees me like a little sister, does he? He's always treated me like a little kid, especially around with my dad, especially with my dad around. He drives me nuts. Anyway, there's absolutely nothing like that going on. Okay. There you are. Joshua, Hans, rehearsal's over, and you're still practicing. That's some dedication you two have. Ready for your big duel scene? Just leave it to us. It'll be flawless. Really? I look forward to seeing it. Anyway, what are you two doing here? Were you looking for us? Today's the last day that you two will be staying with us in the dorms. I was hoping we could have a big dinner party to bump ourselves up. Maybe. Let's do it. Sounds like a great idea. By the way, wasn't Jill with you? She was called away by the Dean some time ago. I'll go check on her. I'll come with you. Hush, my birds. Shush. Shushing. Don't call me that. Looks like they've really hit it off. Sometimes it worries me that he doesn't really let other people get close. What? 
It's nothing. Okay, then let's go get changed. It's kind of embarrassing to walk around like this. I have to agree. That should do it. You want to meet up with Jill? All right, let's go to the Dean's office. At the main school first floor. That's the dormitory. That's a great idea. That's our Dean, always level-headed. You flatter me. Then I assume I could I trust you to the list? Yes, sir. I'll take care of it. Excuse us. We're sorry. Are we interrupting? No, no. We were just finishing up. Actually. Dean, don't say anything. You'll spoil the fun tomorrow. Uh, what? You're acting all suspicious. What are you plotting this time, Jill? <laughs> You'll just have to wait till tomorrow to find out. Anyway, what's up? Do you need something? Yes, actually. Oh, that sounds fine. I was just hoping and praying that the festival is a big success. Let's give it all we've got. To the cafeteria, they said. Classroom. That's the auditorium. That's the clubhouse. We're here. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Jill. We've been waiting for you. Now, are you ready to order some food? Something to point out that those quests I did earlier, they will end, they will expire when we come into this school. So, do them before this. A toast with soft drinks. I like how they specify that. The stage is set perfectly. The lights are just right. Okay, looks like we're ready to unleash our masterpiece. We'll be opening soon. We've got a bit before everything starts. Go have some fun in the meantime. Now we're talking. I'm gonna stuff my face with everything with some, with something from every food stand. Looking around is just fine, but if you eat too much, you'll be too full to move in the play. Yeah, I probably shouldn't overdo it. Okay, there's, I guarantee they're gonna switch something up. The time you've been waiting for has finally arrived. The 52nd Annual Genesis, Genesis Royal Academy Festival has begun. Next time, join me then on Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky as we attend a festival. But until then, I'm the Dark Seraph.